Welcome back to another video. My name is Derek and today we're going to be taking a look at an Apple Watch Series 10. If you look on YouTube for a glass only repair on this model, you will not be able to find it. It may look like the other generations, but the actual display, the way that it's manufactured is completely different, making it extremely hard to refurbish. They were already hard, now they're even harder. This particular watch, you can see there's some pixel damage up in the top corner there due to the cracks. But other than that, this display is completely functional. Today, I'm gonna to take a really close up look at it to see what can possibly be done to start to get over the hurdles that I that I know that this watch has. So let's get started. Would you just look at the damage? There's definitely some delamination going on down inside the top layer of the display. Go ahead and see if we can pop this guy apart. We'll insert the pry tool. And I'm gonna slide in this piece of plastic here, along with a drop of some isopropyl alcohol. See a small gap forming in between the display and the frame. We'll take advantage of this and slide in a plastic tool and carefully slide along the frame. And we'll do that all the way around. Gotta be extremely careful around the cracked areas to not damage the display. It's not gonna be as rigid and it's gonna wanna bend and flex. But eventually, we will get the screen to pop up and come off. See the Apple logo there? And we can still see the pixel damage in the corner. It's faint, but it's there under those cracks. One of the reasons why the Series 10 is so difficult to fix is because of the design of the glass. Here you can see how it's shaped kind of like a bowl where it's got this ridge that runs around and then dives down. It's got this ridge that runs around, but it actually goes down and meets up with the OCA layer. So the display is encapsulated in this bezel that goes around the border. It's part of the display and it's recessed as well inside. So it makes it extremely difficult to refurbish. That compared to say a series nine, as you can see, there is no edge, there's no ridge on this one. It just goes straight into the OCA layer, making this one have kind of the worst of both worlds when it comes to refurbishing. I'm going to try to pick at some of these shards very carefully. We're going to see if we can remove at least one of them, get down to the frame area. This one looks like it wants to come off. I take my time, gently pry on it. We might see some delamination of the top layer of the display. Off comes a couple of the shards. Not easily, I might add. You see the glinting here, how it kind of sh shines? Right there, there. That's delamination of the top layer of the display. Add a drop of isopropyl alcohol to help loosen things a little bit more. I'll slowly try to work this last shard up. All right, so only a few minutes later, we've got that shard off and I can start to see the edge here. There's a little bit of where the glass edge meets up with the plastic bezel that's elevated above the other one. This may be difficult to see, but this section here is plastic. It rounds down and then flattens out onto the bezel. So I'm into this about 15 minutes already, and this is the only amount of glass I've cleared so far. Did I mention that this is the most difficult repair? No wonder there's not a single video on YouTube showing this process on the Series 10. Now I'm removing one of the shards that has some of the delamination under it, so we'll be able to get a closer look at that when I get this shard up and off. The only issue is, is it's pinched. Hopefully I can wedge it out of there. All right, off comes another shard. Off comes another piece of glass. You can start to see the layers. Hard to see, but there's some bubbles under there. Gotta be really gentle not to damage that layer anymore. It already is. I'll be able to fix the delamination if I can get it off without tearing any of it. So I've gotta carefully, surgically remove these little shards without cutting into that top layer of the display. All right, time to remove one of the bigger shards. Got a bit of white stuff under it. Curious what that is, probably just adhesive. It's 
definitely delamination in this area. Also getting really close to the area where the pixels are damaged. And the glass is now just flaking off. And by the way, I've got the watch screen on this whole time so I can make sure I'm not damaging the display. Oh, we can carefully uncover the pixel damage area. One shard at a time, nice and slowly. I'm well over half an hour into this watch so far. All right, I've managed to clear away quite a bit of the shards in the corner, but we are making super slow progress. Now I can see why those pixels got damaged. All of the glass shards were pointing at that direction or kind of spiraled in here and pushing down on that area. The only way I could see this being a practical repair is if somebody is able to use layer uh, lasers to eat away at the OCA and also at the bezel. If they're able to basically separate them with lasers, then this, then refurbishing these might even be possible. All right, I'm gonna try something that's somewhat risky for just more like delamination reasons, but I'm gonna to try to get under these shards with a piece of plastic. Very thin, very flexible, and it might be able to cut through the OCA if I don't pick up some of these tiny little shards along the way. The issue obviously being that I'm going at it cold which means delamination is almost inevitable. Not that it's already delaminated. I mean, it already is delaminated, but it could become worse. Never mind, nothing wants to let me in. All right, let's see if we can get under this shard here. I've flattened out the tip of this already extremely thin prying tool, probably getting further the delamination that's on the other side of it, but I might be able to slice under it. I'm gonna see if I can slide along the edge of the bezel here and cut through the grip that this shard has on the frame. And now can I cut through the bezel gently without destroying the display using the plastic? That's the big question. Or it's working. Oof, like that. All right, we are making progress. Cleared that section of the bezel all the way over to here. That's roughly a fourth of the entire bezel. And we're only an hour into this, so not bad. All right, I'm gonna go around the border and see if I can start to let this bezel let go just by scoring the edge, maybe digging in a little bit here and there. Take some time to convince it to let go. This is not easy, it wants to dig down. All right, now we'll go down this side gently. There's no cracks along this edge, so Hopefully it'll go smoothly. If you try to pry like this on a series nine or eight, you typically damage the display because the bezel is kind of fused into the edge of the display. It is here too, but in a different way. It's not so direct. All right, and then now we're finally back around to the other side. I may end up needing to grind through the edge of the glass, chipping away at the bezel so that I can actually cut off the glass itself. So I don't see a way to get past the bezel otherwise. If you have any ideas, leave them in the comments below. All right, with the bezel cut, let's see if it's easier to pump off the shards off the edge now. It's coming up, the delamination of the, the top layer is continuing though. I mean, I kind of expected that, but at some point I'd like to see it stop. All right, let's see if we can get this other big shard out of here. Really holding on to that bezel, so I'm going to try to saw it off as well, like we did before. Seems to be working. All right, so that finally came off. All right, that shard is almost off. There we go. And I don't know how, because it was just fine. But the screen just suddenly died. Huh. Wonder how that happened. Maybe I pushed down on one of the shards. Too much. I mean, I kind of expected it with the way that these displays are, are made. I knew this was going to be really tough, near impossible. I guess that goes to show how difficult these ones are going to be to, to refurbish. You can see what I mean on the side here. We've got this bezel that's adhered to the glass that comes over, up again, and over to then have the OCA layer meet up with it. So you've got all of this flexible slash annoyingly adhered bezel that's like super glued to the glass. No wonder no one has put out a video of doing the refurbishing on this model online yet because it's just, it's not practical. All right, so now you know how difficult these watches are going to be. 
I've repaired thousands of watches. And when I mean thousands, I literally mean thousands. This is just one of many containers of Apple Watch glass that I've collected over the years. That being said, I'm curious when and if someone's gonna be able to come out with a solution. I think it's going to involve lasers, but only time will tell. Comment down below what you think the solution might be, or if you've actually successfully done a Series 10 glass only. Thanks a ton for watching. We'll see you in the next video.